If you have not done so, watch the episodes The Insane Time Chase and Superheroes before this one. Despite having killed the 2060 version of Ted Wilson twice in both 2005 and 2060, the superhero versions of Dubby and Carrie in 2030 knew they would also have to deal with yet another version of Ted Wilson in their own native timeline. So now Carrie and I don't really know what to do. We no longer have the guidance of my future self to lead us into more fights with Ted Wilson. Haven't you already defeated him? Why do more? The Ted Wilson you know around here didn't kill Richard Sims in 2020. So it is not just to punish your Ted Wilson for something he has not yet done. He is hardly innocent, mother. He still smashed Carrie's face with a baseball bat, destroying her left eye and making her have to wear an eye patch ever since. He spent a few years in juvenile hall rather than hard time in prison and then was released to become a cop. Then we had to get rid of him, his father and mayor Ted Anderson, and replace Anderson with you. I have a solution. Since your future self gave you healing powers, why not volunteer at the hospital to treat patients? So this is where they decided to hold the superhero convention. An amusement park. I would have expected a more dignified location such as a hotel in New York City. That probably would have been too expensive. Oh, look is here. Hong Kong. And hello Debbie and Carrie. Clowny the superhero clown, at your service. Nice to see you here. My sister watches your show and she was excited to see you playing a superhero. Sadly, Debbie and I had to become superheroes for real due to a terrible tragedy. We both saw a loved one get murdered and swore to avenge him. And did you get your revenge? Not yet. In fact, that same guy attacked me and destroyed my left eye, giving me more reason to want to punish him. Someday, he will pay. Well, instead of focusing only on revenge against the one who hurt you, maybe you could try doing plenty of good for those who are also hurting. That would be better, no? That's actually great advice, Clowney. Sure, Debbie, I would love to have your help here. We can put you to work as a nurse, taking care of children, babies, and pregnant women. And would Carrie be doing this too? No, she doesn't have healing powers. Her powers are offensive, including the ability to badly injure or kill enemies. But of course, she is not a cold-blooded murderer. She does want to bring those types to justice, but because of her damaged left eye, she was judged to be unfit to be a cop. So what else can she do? Being rejected for the police force was so hurtful. And knowing that Ted Wilson destroyed my eye and that makes me unable to serve the community as I want infuriates me. Well, I know you are a good artist. Have you tried making and selling paintings? My paintings won't sell because AI art is so common now and you don't have to pay AI entities for those works they make. Last month, someone got drunk at the Tuscany Tavern and he assaulted Bella when she asked him to leave. Maybe if I hire you as a bouncer, you could deal with future such incidents. That bastard didn't just assault Bella, he caused her to lose her baby a few hours later. Then she quit. If only I'd been there. All right, I will work for you. Welcome to the Tuscany Tavern. What can I get you? Uh... Why are you wearing that ridiculous costume? And why are you wearing an eye patch? Are you a pirate? No, I'm the restaurant's bouncer. Anyone who makes trouble here I will deal with. So are you going to order something? Oh, and should I comment on how I dislike your hairstyle? You wouldn't like that, would you? Point noted. Alright, I want a small sausage pizza, please. 